In my opinion, the Conquest Pass is worth its weight in Beskar, but I'm still not enticed by the Conquest Pass Plus. Let's talk about this. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the tribe, I hope you're all doing rather fantastic. Today we are talking about Conquest, and most importantly, about the Conquest Pass and its variant, the Conquest Pass Plus, which is just a bit of an awkward name to say, really. Try saying it three times fast. Conquest Pass Plus 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 No, I can't even say it once fast. But then again, I am challenged in the vocabulary department. So, why do I want to talk about this? A couple of reasons. Uh, a couple of people on stream has have been bringing up the issues with Conquest Pass and the Conquest Plus Plus and how the Pass Plus seems to be exorbitantly expensive and doesn't really give a return on value or return on investment for the for the cost and that the Pass Plus potentially doesn't even hold a lot of value. And that I, I actually completely disagree with. So I want to sort of put it down in writing as to why I feel this pack is absolutely worth it. And it's not just because you get the extra shards up here. Really, it's the tertiary value. So I can't really show you the full value of all these packs down here and what they actually give, but there are a couple of things that we can highlight. So the biggest thing I would say is this is going to change dependent on the state of your roster and whether or not you are in hard mode or normal mode or easy mode, or if you can red box in general. I always like to advocate everybody, if you can red box, red box it. And I think that there is a large subset of players that think they can't red box conquest, and they actually can, because the feats are doable. A lot of times, even if you don't have the teams geared up, if they don't have a lot of stars on them, you can make stuff work in conquest, and that's why it's kind of a fun game mode for the most part. So, if you are one of those people that are red boxing, then this is more towards you people. The people that aren't able to red box, this, the, the, the Pass Plus has diminishing returns the less you are able to progress in Conquest Pass. Um, and in the Conquest Pass Plus, indeed. The other side of it is whether or not you've finished off your previous Conquest units. At this time, I have finished every single Conquest character, but I know a lot of people have come to the game later, and they might well be missing additional Conquest characters. And having to rely on the likes of Proving Grounds to catch up on Conquest characters is absolutely flipping awful. The Conquest Pass Plus does give you an extra day free worth of Proving Grounds, which is really, really good value, in my opinion. So you have to colour your expectations a little bit with that. What exactly is the difference between these two packs? What does the Conquest Pass give you and what does the Pass Plus give you? It's very, very simple. The Pass just gives you the premium reward track. Essentially, this top line here, this is all premium rewards that you unlock by getting the base pass for £10 or $9.99, whatever it happens to be, in your currency. It might be €12 Euros or something like that. And that's it. That's the trio. That's all you get. You get that premium track, jobs are good and move on with life and start doing feats in Conquest. Now, the Conquest Pass Plus does give a little bit more. It gives you two powerful data disks. This one over here, Deadly Momentum, basically trivializes 90% of Conquest. It is that good of a data disk. You can find this one organically in one of your data disk nodes, but it is a very, very rare drop. Uh, it lets you attack under protection, and then it triggers everything that triggers on a percentage health effect. So, um, so uh, Ruthless Swiftness, Ruthless Offense, these effects will stack, and it makes them trigger at 100%, 70%, and 40%. So three times you'll be able to trigger, the, trigger those data disks, as well as itself, which boosts your offense by 30%, and you ignore 30% of the enemy's protection when you attack. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. You will walk through conquest with this. The other one is the legendary consumable boost. This one is just simply okay. It, it's great that it's a one, da a one dot data disk, but honestly, the fact that consumables only last a battle unless you're cheesing stuff, this kind of decreases the value of this data disk in my opinion, because it just incentivizes you to constantly be using consumables, and honestly, for 99% of the time you don't need a consumable within Conquest. You also get some, you know, stim packs, some medium stim packs, large ones, small ones, and then you get some nice uh, additional consumables here. Now these consumables do allow you to skip some of the more laborious feats that you see within Conquest. So there's the, I think it's, um, 
It might be the 100 kills with Piet and Veers, and the other one I think is the light side Mando's victory. So it can offer a little bit of additional flexibility to people if they can't beat those feats or they don't want to. It's a quality of life thing. Do you want to save yourself time farming feats or do you want to ignore it and just, you know, get the feats done for free so it's a time saving mechanic other than that and then you get stuff like dread and like you know some of the the, the faction based data discs and these are all very powerful don't get me wrong but to me inherently they don't hold value they probably have very niche uses if you've got them why not but to me this doesn't really add monetary value you also get 50 Chirotech, which is quite nice. In addition to the Chirotech, you also get an addition day of proving rounds, which is really valuable if you are missing any conquest units. The more conquest units you are missing from the past, the more value this past plus actually has for you, because that's saving you refreshes or it's cutting your farms in half in some instances, right? Not only that, it lets you swap data disks for free within conquest. Now, I have to be honest, it feels like that is a feature that should just be inherent as part of Conquest in general. I don't think we should be paying energy to swap data disks, but they've decided to monetize it under the Pass Plus. Personally, I would throw this under the standard Conquest Pass, not leave it under Pass Plus, or have it not be applicable at all, just make disk swapping free. That would get the fun back into Conquest a little bit more if we don't have to worry about spending energy swapping data disks. But that's just a personal gripe of mine. Okay, so the Pass Plus does bring to the table a heck of a lot more but I feel like a lot of it is just quality of life things or um, convenience items to help you progress in conquest and honestly if you don't need them then I can't attribute real world value to it and that's that's my main concern you also have you know the faster energy regeneration and stamina regeneration that does have some intrinsic value because obviously that means uh, you're not refreshing as often or you might still be refreshing and you're gaining additional value from, um, you know, uh, for example, your stamina is recovering on your units, allowing you to three star nodes a little bit quicker. You're gaining more energy in general, so you're able to farm more datacron materials if you're in that position. But that is a very individual price point, right? Only you can uh, uh, attribute a price to that. The biggest value, I have to say, is the Proving Grounds benefit, in my opinion. That is the biggest value as far as very tangible things are concerned when it comes to the Pass Plus compared to the Standard Pass. The only people I can really recommend this to is people that really want to farm hard into Datacrons. You know, those people that really want to get as many Datacrons as possible, this is great. And those of you that are really trying to catch up on multiple conquest units, this will save you a bunch of time and crystals refreshing standard conquest. Uh, not standard conquest, sorry, standard proving grounds events because they'll come around more frequently. So let's look at the other side of it. What does the premium reward track really offer? Well, it offers first and foremost 20 shards of the current conquest unit. So Darth Bane over here. This first node will give you 10 shards just for right out the rip 10 shards immediately of Darth Bane and as you progress you'll gain an additional 10 shards for that character resulting in 20 total shards of Darth Bane you also get whatever was the previous one 20 shards of them as well so you see these nodes here if we go to one that I haven't actually got you'll see Dark Trooper Moff Gideon over here you get two shards of him one shard of Bane that's because this first box over here gives you 10 shards now you also get this red conquest milestone box which is really neat because it gives you two additional Omicron materials which is nice now honestly these bits of gear to me at this point in the game have zero value not because oh look at me I've got so many of them because I don't really but with the way that the current raid rewards work you can get so many of these, hundreds of these, just by doing the raid and getting your raid rewards. The, the, the number is so minimal, it doesn't make a difference to me. So I feel like these don't have value. And then you've got some Datacron materials. Now, Datacron materials, for someone like me who really likes GAC, playing in Kyber 1, I, Datacrons are a necessary part of gameplay. And honestly, for the most part, I quite enjoy using Datacrons. So I like this, but it's hard to attribute real value to them. It's just cheaper than refreshing. So it's just extra juice in the bank. So what is the real value of 20 shards of a conquest unit? It's 
quite hard to justify, but what it really means in real terms is that you're saving yourself 2,100 of your conquest credits each run. And that's because you don't actually have to be spending that conquest currency on the conquest character in these wandering scavenger nodes. You can see over here that it's worth 525 and normally you would be buying 20 shards of said character, right? So if you didn't have the pass, you'd be buying 20 shards of 525, oh, well actually it would be 525 divided by five times that by 20, 2,100 conquest credits saved, essentially. What good is 2,100 conquest credits each um, each conquest? Well, you're able to spend that instead on stuff like signal data. You can see here how I've thrown it. I've bought all the signal data that I can because in my experience, signal data is one of the biggest crunches outside of stuff like bronzium wirings and things like that in the game. So this has great value to me essentially. It has really great value because I'm able to get myself additional signal data as I progress through. I personally wouldn't get stuff like electrum conductors or erodium heat sinks, but in the later nodes you are able to get better things like zimbiddles and stuff like that, sort of in sector 4 and in sector 5. So that's the real value of that. If we were to try and sort of put a crystal cost to that, we can try and get some fuzzy numbers going on here just by comparing it to, say, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. We know we're getting 20 shards of Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, and according to this, you know, 475 conquest credits is equivalent of 600 crystals. It, like, I know this is not a direct comparison. I'm just trying to use this as a for instance, right? So if 475 is, um, is 600 crystals, right? How much is 2,100? Well, we can divide that by 475, 4.4 times that by 600, and we come out with around about 2,653 if we're rounding up. 2,653 crystals. Like I said, I know this is fuzzy, but for $10, that's not bad. If you go into the store, for example, I don't know if you are fully free to play or potentially you are a guy that likes to maybe dabble your dolphin or your minnow or whatever you want to classify yourself as in this game. But, you know, it's worth nearly nearly $20 in crystal value if you look at it in that respect. Now, obviously, like I said, it, you can't quite directly attribute it, but when you add in additional things like, oh, you get a little bit more datacron materials, you also get uh, some additional omicrons, the value starts to really show itself. That's the real massive bonus for the premium pass uh, or the premium trap. That's the real big bonus for going on the premium track and just getting the base conquest pass. Now, obviously, the pass plus gives you the premium track as well, so it has all of that value baked into it. It's just the additional, they are very much dependent on the individual. Now, I buy the pass plus whenever the first version of a new conquest comes out. So this one here, we'll finish this up, we'll get Darth Bane, and then when the new one comes in, I'll buy the pass plus for that. But I do that because I make videos on conquest. So I find additional value in that pack because I'm able to swap my data disks for free and I'm recharging stamina quicker and I'm gaining, you know, additional energy at a faster pace. It allows me to produce content for you guys at home. So that's why I do it, but I only do it for the first round because that's when I do all my videos. I can really honestly say if you're missing a bunch of those conquest units, it does have a lot more value because I believe refreshing even one of those Proving Grounds events is like 2,000 crystals. So getting that, you know, that, that in itself, as we've already seen, is about $20. So you're getting that difference immediately, and that gets amplified the more conquest units you are actually missing. As we said before, the additional little bits of gear that we get here, I, I don't attribute any value to these. We do also get a couple of consumables. These can just make your life easier. Again, I attribute no value, no monetary value to these consumables. They're nice to have, they can make your life easier, but I know for a fact that I can go through Conquest without the use of any of these consumables, because generally speaking, I don't use consumables when I'm going through. Maybe I use them to achieve a cheese or a feat, but I don't need to do that, I do it because I can. You also get a little bit of that data cache going on, which again is nice if you're trying to invest in your data crons, trying to level up those. I personally find a lot of value in that hard to justify an actual quantity, but I feel like all these little things do add up over time. 
And of course, you get some cosmetics, like a portrait of Darth Bane. Honestly, I don't attribute any value to that whatsoever. But overall, I think that the Conquest Pass is one of the best value packs that you can get in the game. Truth be told, it, it allows me to get additional things like extra Zim Biddles, and it allows me to get loads of additional signal data each every run of Conquest, which is nice, and it does so at a rate that's cheaper than just buying crystals to buy signal data, if you catch my drift. I will always recommend it, and it also just gives you that little bit of additional freedom when it comes to, are we going to unlock a character this run? Are we going to be able to make it? There's an additional bit of, like intrinsic value there if perhaps you would only gold boxed on a previous one you get the pass plus just to buy the extra 20 shards i know you'll need a little bit more than that but it gives people a little bit of extra room to breathe an extra bit of cushion just in case honestly if you're going to spend any money in this game the conquest pass is one of the best things that you can actually buy outside of like the weekly pack that you can get for 9.99 that gives a bunch of relic materials. I guess the one last thing that I really want to touch on is what I would change about the Conquest Pass and about the Conquest Pass Plus to make it a little bit more attractive to a wider audience if I were CG. Now there's probably absolutely no chance in heck that any of this actually gets done but this is just my perspective on it. First and foremost I still feel like the Conquest Pass Plus is a little bit pricey for people that have already finished conquest and don't have any conquest characters left to farm you are the, the benefit within the game mode is convenience items that most likely if you are red boxing every conquest you don't need they're just nice to have and i don't feel like that's worth paying three times the normal amount of a conquest pass for personally the extra energy is nice granted the extra stamina recovery is nice what i would like to see them do is just drop that price from $30 to $20. And then all of a sudden, that would seem a little bit more attractive. Now, if CG don't want to do that, then potentially they should have a think about end game players that don't have conquest characters to farm. What incentive is there for them? You know, what's, what's the extra benefit there? Do they get potentially, uh, I don't know, additional attempts at something else? Additional attempts at Smuggler's Run 2? Or do they get additional signal data available to purchase or anything like that something that gives them a real benefit in their rosters rather than in their performance within conquest that i think would start to change things but i guess the biggest thing is i would lower the price i think the price point is still a little bit too high for the majority of players that don't have conquest characters left to farm on the standard conquest pass i genuinely don't think it actually needs anything more but i would very much like to see the free data disk swapping get moved from the pass plus into the standard pass and i think that would be incentive enough to capture some of those people that are still a little bit reticent and don't want to spend money on a conquest pass that's only active for two weeks of every month just some considerations let me know what you would change. I'm gonna about do it. Let me know in the comments section down below. Are you a Conquest Pass guy? Are you a Pass Plus guy? Or are you a free to play purist that never spent any money on this game outside of Lightspeed Bundles? Am I right? All right, guys. Until the very next video, peace out and may the force be with you.